What's good? It's your boy, Daniel. What is good? It's Daniel. Alright, back with another video. So, I got a good one for y'all today. Today, I'm going to be talking about 30 days of semen retention. And it is also my birthday. I turned 17 today. And I ain't going to lie. Since the last video I made, I've been treating myself like a god. I'm a king in my heart. And I treat myself like one. I feel good. I look good. My skin clearing up. Growing a little facial hair. I look good. I feel good. And just life is going great. You feel me? I'm happy. I'm reaching for my goals. I'm getting there. And life is going great. But hold up, hold up, hold up. Right now, we're going to get into the benefits I experienced in 30 days of semen retention. Benefit number one, clear skin. All right, I've noticed this walking around school. Most people's skin is not very clear. Like, they got bumps all over their face, like marks and shit. Like, I don't know what's going on. But I had, I had problems with acne and all that too before I went on semen retention. But as soon as I went on semen retention, my skin just cleared up. I got a natural glow to me all of a sudden. And if you into having a natural glow, having clear skin, like you look at my skin, skin just it just cleared up. You if you want that, semen retention might be for you or no fat. All right, now we're on to benefit number two. Benefit number two would have to be. more of a man like more masculine and more like more of a masculine man by that i mean my voice got deeper or a couple things fall in that subcategory of being more masculine my voice got deeper you know i fell into the role of leading myself better i overall was just a more masculine, manly guy. Like, I got <sighs> so many benefits. Okay, so when, I'm gonna put other things in there. All right, so with the masculine, with the benefit of being more masculine, I'm gonna put having a deeper voice. That's one. Better conversation skills. Easier to talk to girls. A lot more driven and focused on my goals. Like, now, I'm so driven to the point if you're not going where I'm going, or we don't intersect on the way to my success, I, to be honest, I don't really want much to do with you. Because going out of your way to fuel things that aren't what you want, if you don't want something and you fuel it, you know, it doesn't make sense. You, you fuel what you want and you fuel your goals and people that intersect with your goals, you know, they can be a part of your life, but you have to be very, very selective of who you let in and who you let take a little bit of your energy and who you give energy to. Because, you know, another thing, another benefit, people's energy. Since I got on NoFap, 30 days, this one by far, probably the most profound benefit out of all of them. People's energy. I can read it like an open book. I could tell easily there are no fab. I could tell, I could tell, you know, are they more positive, more negative people? Are they driven? Do they love what they're doing? Are they happy? Are they sad? Are they introverts? Are they extroverts? Are they lying to me? Are they telling the truth? I can almost feel what their intent is. You know, it's so many different ways I could read people now. I, I can understand people's actions. Because, you know, most people do not try to conceal their actions. You know, they're not good at deception. And, you know, if you if you try, you could really look at someone and learn a lot about them. Learn about 
you can learn a lot about how they talk. Where are they looking? You know, if people are always looking down like this, everywhere they go, people always have their phone out. They have headphones in. People don't talk loudly. They have a weak voice. Um, They don't ask questions. They don't look you in the eyes. All these things. They say a lot about your character and who you are. And once you learn how to read them, you're going to learn, you know, who you want to be around and who you don't. Because if you see traits in people that you don't necessarily like or you or that you don't want in yourself or you don't want around you, you know, you have to make a decision whether you want this person around you or not. If you don't want them around you, then, you know, you're going to have to, you know, get them out of your life somehow and find people that are more like-minded, you know, people that can push you. You know, I want to be surrounded by people that can constantly push me. You know, you got to push me because I'm going to push you. I'm going to push you, you know, so you got to push me too. All right. On to the next benefit. Next benefit. This next benefit are going to be physical benefits. By physical, I mean strength gains, exercising, um, how your body responds to exercise, recovery. So, for me, for me personally, I did feel a lot stronger on OFAB. My energy level, it rose a lot. It rose considerably. And when my energy level rose considerably, my muscle, my muscles didn't necessarily get bigger, but I found it easier to push them farther. Based on what I'm saying this, in this month, I didn't grow a lot. My muscles didn't get huge, you know, they didn't get huge. But... Pushing them to their limit and pushing past that limit became a lot easier. You know, when I'm not on no fat, having the motivation to get to my limit and push past it is difficult. And to have the energy to do it and to have the mental willpower to do it can be difficult. On no fat, it all became easier. You know, it gets to a point where wherever your life was, Whatever your life is right now on NoFap, it's almost like what you can't control, you are taking it and you are just, you're taking it by the hand and you're molding it into what you want your life to be. What you can't control, you're finally starting to accept what you can't control, acknowledge its presence, and you're tr trying to move on from it. You know, I found myself leaning on things I couldn't control a lot more when I wasn't on NoFap. But now that I've hit 30 days, I've learned mold and shape what you can control. Your goals, your aspirations, your dreams, your purpose, what you love. And to kind of let go and not focus on the things you cannot control. The media, distractions school, other people's actions, countless things you cannot control. But the things you can control, you learn to mold them. Your habits, how disciplined you are, how you talk to people, how you look at people, how you spend your time, what you put your effort into. All those things, you learn to shape them, mold them. You know, it's not easy. Don't get a mess up. It's not easy at all. No fact. 30 days on NoFap was probably one of the most difficult things I've ever done in my life. It really was. But it was worth it. You know, whoever's watching this video, if you're trying to get on NoFap, you know, you, you, you've learned about it and you just found this video. All right, I'm going to tell you a couple of things. You know, I'm not the most experienced no fapper. I, you know, my longest streak is 30 days, like I said. But being on 30 days, I could teach you and tell you things that people that have surpassed 30 days, maybe have gotten to 100, 200, 400. I could tell you things they couldn't tell you because I'm, I'm here. I'm not far from being at day 15. 
But the same time I say that, I'm not, a, I have not relapsed. I'm not, you know, in the relapse cycle. I'm growing. I'm in between. I still understand what life was like when I was on day zero. And I know what my goals are going into the future.